He's opening his eyes. I saved him, Fuller. I, I can't get up. What happened to me? Where am I? Mr. Sanders, you have to come with us. No, please. I can't leave here. You've got no choice, Sanders, and neither do we. You don't understand. If I go out, he'll see me. No! No! <coughs> Please, I don't want him to find me. You there. Wake up. Come on, stand up. We don't have much time. Can you stand up? Who are you? A friend of Ethan Bradley. It was he who told me that you had been interned here. W wait. Bradley is really alive? I don't understand. You filled me. So full of drugs, I can't distinguish dream from reality. Please believe that I have nothing to do with these disgraceful treatments. Look, I don't have time to explain everything. I'm not really supposed to be here. And the same goes for you, according to Ethan. You must leave as soon as possible, and as unobtrusively as possible. I've brought you your clothes. Let me go ahead. We'll meet upstairs. Uh, wait a minute. What's going on here? What do they do to the patients to make them so terrified? I would really like to know. I only see them when they are brought up for medical treatment, for problems they didn't have before going downstairs. But this is neither the time nor the place to talk about that. We must not stay here. There are two men standing guard near the stairs. It's the only way to the floor above. I shall try to distract them, and get at least one to come with me. 
All you need to do is to follow me as soon as the way is free. Understood. What does this mean? Sarah. Am I in an asylum? This is no medicine. What did he write about the painting? Why the strange symbol repeated over and over? Sarah Hawkins is on this list of authorized visitors. If I don't get out of here, I'll end up like him. <laughs> Poor wretch. Dr. Colden, I would like to say that I'm surprised to see you, but we all know that your curiosity will be your ruin. I don't understand. These people need care. You keep them in this terrible place as if... Go back upstairs where your patients are waiting for you to treat them. As for you, gentlemen, do not disappoint me anymore. No one enters or leaves. Yes, Doctor. Damn it. I'll have to find a way of getting rid of those two myself. I told you not to let her come down. I know. If you do it again, I'll report you. All right. I know. <laughs> The machine is working again, but the control wheels haven't been put back on. I was just going to the storage room. I can bring them to you. No, Dr. Fuller doesn't want us touching the pressure valves. Good God. What could this machine be used for? Is there a connection between this corpse and the machine? The corpse is complete. Whose are these limbs? This machine seems to consume a great deal of electricity. It's an ammeter. I didn't expect to see one on this little rock. Have I activated anything? This is madness. Are they seriously thinking of transmitting the properties of this meat by electric current? Worse and worse.
Zoology, esotericism, mineralogy, and a full shelf on cephalopods. Sarah Hawkins. She was a patient here. Dementia, self-inflicted wounds. Anatomy, anthropology, nothing surprising. It's done. Now for the others. Anybody here? Just a few days to come. Yeah, that's it. Four days ago. No more. I saw something over there. I, I, I think I've got the right date. My calculations are always right. It's the date. It's the date since the spread. That is the, that's the problem. I, I don't know what this date is. But the calculations, they're right. Four days, maximum. Five at the most. If I walk, I do not stop. If I do not stop, he does not catch me. If he does not catch me, I do not sleep. If I do not sleep, I do not see him. I do not hear him. He does not call me. He does not call me. He calls me. If I walk, I do not stop. If I do not stop, I catch him. If I catch him, I sleep. If I sleep, am I dead? Get me out! Don't let me sleep in here! What is welling up inside me? I feel it in my head and in my body. 
He roars and swells and has strength of oceans. His waves rise and crash, leaving behind them only a trail of white nourishing foam. He is my master. He enters me. Yes, 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 yes. Mm. You, yeah, you there, come here. I don't know what you're doing there, but you don't seem to be friends with the nurses. I can help you. Help me, and I'll owe you one. What do you want? Sleep. That's all. Sleep? You don't want to leave? No. Have you seen the storm that's brewing? I'm fine here, except for one problem. You want sleeping pills, right? Yeah. And in exchange, I can make noise. Lots of noise. You'll draw the guards to your cell to allow me to escape. So, you in? Find something to make me sleep, and I'll take care of the guards for you. I'll find you some pills. Go look in the storage room. There must be sleeping pills there. Exactly what I need. Locked. Control wheel to mount on a plumbing system. He'll find me. He can see me. Let's calm down, please. No, no, no! Pain is just information, dear Francis. Invaluable information for my research. Kill me! Kill me! What? The green gas leaves from here and it runs through the whole building. This valve controls the pressure. Now for the next step. A duct. It's impossible to break this chain with my bare hands. Perfect. Theoretically, I've only got one lever to push.
This lever must turn on the gas machine. It's locked. This padlock is too complicated for me. Where do they keep their sleeping pills? Scopolamine, morphine, opium, nothing but common drugs. My new friend's sleeping pills. I've got what you want. Show me! There. And remember, 
They don't come for free. Don't you worry, you'll have your diversion. Go on now, go hide yourself. The crows, they're everywhere. Make them go away. This way! Piping hasn't burst. Not yet, anyway. Hide before the guards see me. <coughs> Who did this? Is somebody here? <coughs> Hell's teeth. Fuller's gonna think we did this. <coughs> we gotta tell him though. that you? Don't you worry about the doctor. Right now, he'll have plenty to keep him busy with his precious machine. It gives us time to get away. I'll undo you. Get away? Get away where? I, I, I can't go anywhere. It'll find me, like it found me here. You're mistaken about the beast. Don't stay with me, or you'll end up the same way. You're Sanders, aren't you? I heard you from my cell. What did they do to you? What does Fuller want with you? The doctor? You think it's the doctor who scares me? The doctor wants to heal me. But he's the one who's crazy. He wants to restore my sight. He wants to give me back my eyes. And yet I told him that I didn't want him. I do not want to see it anymore. The real culprit is Sarah. Her and her accursed paintings. You're kidding me. You're talking about Sarah Hawkins. <laughs> the one and only. The legendary. There is no artist more enlightened or cursed than Sarah Hawkins.
In her office, I saw signs of a ritual, perhaps an invocation. These things, that's what makes you say she's cursed. You're wrong. It was not an invocation, but a revocation. <laughs> but she failed. And that's what counts. What's going on on this island? I'm... I'm so sorry. We should never have met. What are you talking about? Destiny! It has trapped you! No, don't let it see you, or you won't be able to escape it. Don't look at it! That's how it finds you! What finds me? Sarah Hawkins visitor! The Shambler! Sanders, pull yourself together. Without her, it's no longer possible to save me. No! Sanders! What the hell? Oh god. I got I got it. Is insane. What killed him? We need to move on. Who goes there? That nightmare again. I need a drink. That is precisely why I'll... You're awake, Mr. Pierce. How do you feel? <laughs> Did I sleep long? The day is only starting. It's fine. How's our fugitive? Dr. Fuller hasn't reported your disappearance to the Force, but that'll come soon. Bradley? Who else would it be? Mr. Pierce, are you all right? You look like you saw a ghost. I... Th there are things I, I can't explain. Tell us. What happened? What I'm sure of now is that the Hawkins case isn't just an accident. And what brings you to that conclusion? The fact that Charles Hawkins survived the fire. I don't understand. Mr. Hawkins was buried. That's what he would have you believe. I have a hard time believing you. You were there, Bradley. You even opened fire on him. I'd remember that. Why would he fake his own death? Do you think he covered up his wife's murder? That's possible. It seems hard to swallow. Don't you have anything more concrete, Pierce?
Bradley, what do you remember? I don't understand your question. The night we went into the Hawkins mansion, you don't seem to remember the tunnels and what occurred there. Uh, no memory of going down any tunnel. No, we were in the manor then, uh... Then what? I, uh... The rest is quite blurry. I don't recall how I came back home. And then? I went to visit you at the hospital and called on Marie's help to get you released. And you don't remember the events of the tunnel? I don't. Let's talk about something else. Seems you two know each other pretty well. It's a tiny island. Everyone knows everyone. Especially since I'm a police officer and Marie's a doctor. The chemistry is obvious. I do seem a little bit stupid, don't I? <laughs> anyway, let's get back to the business at hand. I have flashbacks. They haunt me. What did they do to you? There was that doctor, Fuller, and a nurse. Blood everywhere. My legs, the pain, I, I couldn't bear it. I was screaming. They injected me with something. I woke up at the Institute. Radley was there. And how you scared us. You seemed... Demented. You likely woke up during the anesthesia. No wonder those memories haunt you. What in God's name were they doing to you? What happened afterwards? When I woke up the second time, I was in a padded cell. That's where you found me, Doctor. After you released me, I got a good look at what's in store for the patients of the Riverside Institute. Hallucinogenic gas pumped into the cells. An infernal machine. Horrific medical experiments. Impossible. Dr. Fuller would never do such a thing. You should believe it, Ethan. What Mr. Pierce saw is precisely what I've been trying to prove. Did you discover anything else? I found a file bearing Sarah Hawkins' name in the Institute's basement. It makes sense. A powerful family like the Hawkins had the means to hide such a disgrace. But everyone knows the Fullers have been taking care of the Hawkins for at least a generation. And all were aware of Mrs. Hawkins' fragility. Perhaps, but no one would allow a psychiatric internment. From what I read in the file, Fuller used her as a subject of his experiments. Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins, subjects of Dr. Fuller. Why those two? Dr. Fuller seems to be leaving a trail of corpses. Not to mention those strange machines, and chains, and tools of all kind. Yes. I've been telling you that Fuller uses his patients as guinea pigs. What I saw was more akin to torture than medicine. Do you even hear what you're saying? Dr. Fuller is highly respected. It's the truth, Ethan. And I'll prove it to you. I'm listening, Mr. Pierce. Given the energy he pours into Riverside, I presume it was Fuller's creation. His father's, to be correct. He was a surgeon on board the Scylla. He founded the hospital in 1904 with funds from the Hawkins family before he died and his son Thomas Fuller took over. Two families inextricably linked. Most island families are that way. Captain Fitzroy's father was also a seaman aboard the Scylla. Powerful families dominating everything. Yes, and as you could tell, Dr. Fuller is like some crazed emperor. He wouldn't be happy if he knew we were snooping around. I know the risks. I don't fear him. Do you wish to know anything else? I, I met a Francis Sanders. Do you know him? Of course. He's a patient. Or was. I haven't seen him since Dr. Fuller had him transferred to the basement. He knew Sarah Hawkins, and that's what killed him. What? How did he die? I'm not sure I can explain it. Tell me how Mr. Sanders died. A 
I didn't see what, but something was there with us. Of what do you speak? Sanders said it was Sarah Hawkins' visitor. He spoke of it like a living being. Sarah Hawkins? Have I missed something here? This makes no sense. I don't see how it can help crack the Hawkins case. You really think she's involved? How could she have murdered Mr. Sanders? Francis Sanders mentioned Mrs. Hawkins just before dying. It's no coincidence. You know, Francis Sanders was a well-known art collector. I guess you can still pay a visit to his wife, Irene Sanders. An art collector, you say? That's probably how they met. If you plan on having dinner at the Sanders household, please spare the widow the tale of her late husband's suffering. I don't agree. She deserves the truth. But that truth may be biased. We don't know the bottom of it. He's right. We can't ignore the truth. But it could drive her mad. Better madness than ignorance. Very well. I'll go to see Francis's widow. Perhaps I'll find a link between her husband's death and Sarah Hawkins. Don't end up in the hospital this time. <laughs> I'll do my best. What can I do for you, sir? Mrs. Sanders, I'm a private detective. We must talk about your husband and his ties to Sarah Hawkins. Can I come in? You may. However, before we go any further, please know that my husband died yesterday. That is precisely what brings me here. Well, well, look who's here. You know each other. We met briefly. Time enough to iron out a few matters. The main thing is that we understood one another. The brave detective has a talent for sticking his nose into my business. I bump into her every time I'm investigating someone's death. It's a small island, detective. My island. It's better that it's you bumping into me. You're investigating Francis' death. Why? Who hired you? I spoke to Francis before he died. His story suggests a link to a case I'm working on. Well, since this business has got nothing to do with me, I'll be in your husband's office, Irene. We'll carry on later. Very well, Miss Baker. This way, Mr. Pierce. And do make yourself comfortable. It would seem that you have much to tell me. May I inquire as to when you had the opportunity to talk to my husband? Yesterday. I met him at the hospital. He spoke to me about Sarah Hawkins. Oh, of course he spoke to you about her. That's all he talked about. Sarah Hawkins and her paintings. Please forgive my tone. The fact is that I have not been allowed to see him since he was interned. You, on the other hand, a perfect stranger, were able to see him and even talk with him the day he died. How was he? Were you present when he had this attack? What happened? He started raving, 
screaming that a dimensional shambler had found him. Oh, mercy, that story again. Why have him interned? That was when he began to convulse and twist with pain. Or terror, it's hard to tell. Uh, I beg your pardon? I'm not really sure of what I saw, or what I didn't see. But it's best that you weren't there. I should have been there. What you're telling me is outrageous. I need to understand. H how could this happen? In a reputed institute? And, and right before your eyes, did you not do anything to help him? So ask Fuller, he's the eminent doctor. But I would caution you, you'll find his treatments more terrifying than the illnesses he sets out to cure. That churl no longer takes the trouble to receive me. He sends his secretary to tell me that I cannot see Francis. Me. His own widow. He must think that I am a terrible wife for having abandoned him in such a way. But I only wanted what was best for him. I'm not here to condemn you, Mrs. Sanders. Oh, I'm tired, Mr. Pierce. I would be grateful if you could tell me what you expect of me, and then leave. How did you come to meet Sarah Hawkins? We were the wealthiest and most influential families on Darkwater. Of course we would know each other. And when Charles returned from Europe with his sweet little artist, she and her sinister paintings were destined to catch my husband's eye. He bought many of her works over the last five years. They adorn his macabre gallery. Did your husband talk to you about Sarah Hawkins' visitor? A shambler, to use his precise terms. <laughs> well, you can't imagine that's all he talked about. It's exhibited at the center of the gallery. No better place for the painting that endowed him with the privilege of such a shameful and miserable end to his life. Hold on. The Shambler is a painting by Sarah Hawkins. Who else to paint such horrors? Take a look for yourself, if you feel so inclined. It is my only lead at this stage. I suppose I have nothing to lose. Then you have paid no heed. For my part, I refuse to set foot in that gallery again. But if you are so eager to see it... Thank you, Mrs. Sanders. I won't be long. Did she really care for him, after all? The day the Shambler came into the Sanders' lives. Francis Sanders and Sarah Hawkins were close. Friends, even? A house of artists. A house of artists. Sanders' accession register. He wrote beside the Shambler, finally. What did Sarah Hawkins fear so much that she didn't want to sell a painting? He finally won. Was Sanders aware of his imminent doom? She didn't want Sanders to have the painting. She must have felt devastated. She despises Sarah Hawkins, but it's the painting she truly hates. Why? Ah! The 
Shambler. I need to see it. Let's see what this cylinder has to say once it's inserted in a phonograph. A strange Amerindian pendant. I could use one of those. Strange. For months, Sarah Hawkins refused to part with her painting, to finally give it away for nothing. Another volume of the Reverend's wife's diary. That's twice you've stepped on my toes, Detective. Try not to make a habit of it. I've got a lot of bad habits. Some can be more fatal than others. What have you come looking for in this gallery? Another painting by Sarah Hawkins. One connected to the horrors I've discovered on this island. What a surprise. I'm listening. All's fair in love and war, I suppose. These artifacts date from pre-Columbian times. The man transforms an entire wing of his manor into an art gallery.
the public entrance to the gallery. Why was he so interested in old weapons? What the hell was that? What the hell was that? out. No choice. I must get rid of it. What the hell was that?
What the hell was that? What the hell was that? <laughs> that thing came out of this painting. There has to be a link. Maybe if I destroy it. Is this dagger part of Sanders' collection, or was he seeking to acquire it?
What the hell was that? Damn, maybe I can use this dagger. What the hell was that? Damn, maybe I can use this dagger. Use a specific dagger. <laughs> oh God. Ah! 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 What the hell? Maybe I can use this dagger.
What the hell was that? That maybe I can use this dagger.
What the hell was that? What the hell was that? This dagger looks different. What's the matter with you? You sure you won't be needing that hand? You're losing it, detective. At this rate, you're right. The bottle will get you before I do. You didn't see anything. I saw you within an inch of putting a dagger through your forearm. Did I miss something more interesting? I was attacked by a creature. I pushed it back, I think. I... I think so too. You knew. You knew about the beast. What are you talking about? Think yourself lucky that I saved your hand, even if it was to save my goods. You mean me? Don't flatter yourself, sweetheart. I'm talking about the contents of this gallery. And by the way, where do you think you're going with that dagger? It saved my life. It's an extraordinary dagger. You should talk to Algernon Drake. He's an antique dealer here on Darkwater. He'll tell you all about it, from what I saw in the ledgers. It was him who sold it to Sanders. The creature. This dagger was the only weapon capable of pushing it back. If Hawkins was trying to get rid of this shambler, she might have made contact with Drake. This antique dealer has a good knowledge of the occult. I have nothing to lose by meeting him. You've got your spunk back. Go where you want. I'm staying here to talk business with Irene. <laughs>